I started digging for more answers when I found out Benjamin Shook didn't raise any red flags here in Tennessee when he applied for and got a state-issued identification card, despite being wanted for arrest in neighboring Georgia. You've got to have a lot of information to redo your licenses. To get a temporary identification card, the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security's website states, you must have all of this paperwork, including two proofs of Tennessee residency. With all the proof they give you, you know, they should know who you, who you are. But in the case of 41-year-old Benjamin Shook, it appears Tennessee state officials didn't. After being released from prison in September of last year, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation says Shook failed to register as a sex offender, which is not only required by law, but was part of a plea deal in 2005. By the end of last September, Shook had a warrant out for his arrest in Georgia. But our investigation found Shook didn't just escape arrest in Georgia. Shook was able to get a Tennessee-issued temporary ID card last February using a Morristown, Tennessee address. A lot concerning, especially when it comes to, like, missing, you know, children and things like that because they can let just anybody pass through the system. By law, Shook was supposed to register as a convicted sex offender in Tennessee and notify the Department of Safety about his sex offender status, something that would have been notated on his Tennessee ID. But he did it, and it appears no one questioned a thing. You never know when somebody's going to leave like he did and come here. A system that depends on the offender to self-report appears to have allowed a convicted sex offender to get a state-issued ID. Every state should know about the offenders like that. In the weeks before he and a teenage girl disappeared. Warren Havland, News Channel 11, in your corner.